and you see the blowout I've got on my on my cutters you know we don't do it on purpose we never know sometimes if a wire is hot or not turn off the wrong breaker or whatever anyway so now I'm going to try to put some weld on each side of these and then grind it down to where I can use them as cutters again let you know what happens uh, you can see I'm about halfway done about halfway there I guess I should say a little bit more welding I think will think we'll get her back this is slanted angled whatever you want to call it and so the only way that you can get in there let me see if I can't get a better picture of it coming down this way yeah a little bit better your tool is also gonna go in there at an angle you can see how this is angled down that's so that we can get the point on our cutters so that you want your grinder to go in there at an angle as such because the inside is the one that's going to have the the angle to it the outside's not and so this is a flat this is a flat grinding wheel and that's what you want but now you have to be careful because you need both sides to be you don't want to grow it you don't want to grind one side lower than this side because then you won't have cutting you'll have uh, what would you call bending action in other words it won't cut straight across so you need your cutters to be pretty much right straight across safety glasses are very important with this because boy this thing's turning about 10,000 RPMs throwing out all kinds of little particles of metal We're getting close you can see I'm not having a very easy time but we are getting there well we are getting close I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the outside because if we have to do some more welding in here I'd rather do it before I get close to the end but being that we've got a little bit of room here means that this is probably gonna clean up pretty good of course now we're getting down to the part that's going to be pretty difficult even though this is a flat cut it does have to be angled a little bit and then we have to really get this straight in there We're not getting much light through that joint so we're going to try to clean it up a little bit more so you can see on this this edge right here it's pretty thick 
we got to try to see if we can grind that down to an edge let's see yeah looks like looks like right in here is pretty thick too so we'll have to we got quite a bit of grinding to go but we're just gonna take our time I mean you know these linemans are pretty expensive you hate to just throw them away they're really not much good for anything else other than wiring Got a little bit of light shining through there right up here at the top. So sort of kind of looks like we may have to add a little bit but if we can get the bottom okay then we usually don't use much at the top unless of course you get into some big wire and then you use the then you use the whole thing. I mean you can cut pretty much a number six wire with these so looks like we've got bottom but we got a lot of we got a lot of meat up here on the top that we're gonna have to grind out looks like this other side is not too bad we just need to clean that up a little bit I think we're okay on that one but this other side this one here is I think that's the one that took most of the blow from that electrical line Alrighty. Let's see how close we're getting. This is some number 10. Well, got to use two hands so we know it. Not real sharp, but by golly, we're getting there. See, it leaves just that little bit right there. Yeah. It's kind of a jagged cut, but it is cutting, so we're getting really, really close. Alrighty, well, I've got it. Alrighty, I've got it a little bit sharper in there. Let's see if it's cutting wire or if it's just squashing it. Do it without having to use two hands. Here we go. Oh boy, yeah, it's still pretty tight. Yeah, no, it's not cutting through it. You still have to break it over. But, but the one good thing is, is that at least it is, you know, cutting it. Oh boy, two hands. Okay, now you see we're all the way together. Yeah. See, we're touching at the top, and so that's what the problem is. So I'm probably going to have to add a little bit more weld to it, but you can get through it. At least they're better than what they were before they wouldn't even cut. At least now it's doing really pretty good. So yeah, at least you get an idea on if you want to spend the time. You know, it's taken me about an hour. Maybe, maybe, well, yeah, hour and a half.